I applied with Express through the temp agency and they offered me a temp position to do LIHE. It definitely did help me out a lot going through a rough time as a single mother. Um, it did help me get over like through some hardships I was dealing with with like my bills and everything like that You know, sometimes you just need a little bit of extra help to get over that hump and I use those resources to help me in that way I was going through a really hard time before I got hired to the temp agency here because I was going through a hardship with my bills because I was three months behind and trying to play catch up when I started here It was really hard so that's where the LIHEAP and the CSBG came into play because that helped me get caught up on some of the things I was behind on. It feels really good because I love helping people anyway. So I love working here because now I can help other people out with things that I needed help with, you know, two years ago. I'm grateful for stability for my kids and grateful to have a full-time position here. That way I can, you know, get them the things they need and not be worrying about what my next job is gonna be, if it, it's gonna end or whatever. Mentally, I feel really relieved. Like I'm back on track and things are going well with like my kids and everything. And I just feel like that just really helped me out a lot and took a lot of stress off of me. Thank you so much for everything that you guys have done for me because it really has made a difference in my life. I really love working here and I love helping people and I love, you know, like even when a new resource comes available here, like I tell my friends and family because it can really help someone out like in a time of need and I just see myself staying, I see myself retiring from here. We met Monica through the Head Start program. She was a parent. And she was a parent that um, just wanted to try something new. From age five to 11, I was sexually assaulted. When I was young, I would always feel that abandonment because my biological father uh, came around, but I really didn't have a re relationship with him. And so my stepdad um, treated me different and I felt it, I felt the treatment, and it was not always good. She was encouraged by the staff. She came in and she volunteered, um, genuinely really wanting to participate. It was like a, a moment where she just wanted to do something and make a difference. I became a teenage mom at age um, 16. I started <laughs> drinking heavily. That was my coping mechanism. And um, I can always remember coming to Community Action, you know, being a teenage mom for services. I ended up getting into some serious trouble by the time I was 17 years old. I was facing up to 60 years. And I remember um, being locked up, thinking to myself, you know, why is all this bad happening to me? She loved her children, so she was very, very supportive of the classrooms and then one of the teachers, I believe, Miss Bessie, um, told her, why don't you just try going back to school? In 2004, I finally got my GED after four tries of doing it. And um, I went on off to college, but I ended up with, got that diagnosis with the HIV in 1999. And so um, it was starting to take a toll on my body because a part of me was, was not accepting the fact that I was HIV positive, so I didn't want to take medications. Uh, 2009, they were giving me five, day to, five days to live, and um, that was that moment for me where I um, connected spiritually with the Lord. And then um, shortly after that, the agency had back then, um, it, it was a, a career path for parents, and she entered into that program, she helped other parents. She became employed by the agency um, and, you know, just started to bloom from there. Got her uh, GED, her associate's degree, her bachelor's, her master's, and her PhD. <laughs> I thank God, you know, for all of the heartache because it essentially created who I am today. 
I have five college degrees. I have my own uh, accounting and tax firm. And I, I can honestly say, you know, being here at Community Action has helped me in, 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 in a variety of ways. She is a live documentation. She is evidence of what community action agencies can do. She is the absolute evidence of what helping people changing lives means. And that is, Dr. Beasley is the community action story that we hope will circulate and inspire others to keep going. I first met Jonathan in April of 2022. So we worked together for a few months before we were able to help him and his father find an apartment. I grew up in Will County, like around Joliet, mainly in Lockport my whole life. Uh, I had a uh, infection that caused me to lose both my legs two, I believe it was a little two and a half years ago. They both just came into the office on a random day and um, kind of explained their situation. At that time, they were living in the vehicle. Um, we were able to get them into a hotel through some funds that we had. So we placed them in a hotel for a few weeks and then we were able to connect them with a partnering agency that had funds to place them in a hotel for a longer period of time. Hey, we didn't have anywhere to go. I was living in a vehicle and basically I used them as a resource. My dad had used them uh, I want to say about 10 years ago, he needed help with utilities, and so he called them. Once we once we were able to get them into a hotel, they were, you know, very grateful and optimistic about, you know, them being able to get some assistance because, like I said, they had been living, even with their condition, they had been living in their car for a few months, I think since like December or so, um, before they had their surgery. And pr prior to that, they had been living in a car for well over a year. So getting them into a hotel was a big boost in their, but them being optimistic and hopeful that, you know, they were finally going to get some assistance they had been seeking. Coming from addiction, it's, you, you always look to see when, when's the next bad thing going to happen. And everything just keeps getting better and better and better. And it's like, I'm waiting for the hat to drop for it like for it to stop getting better I guess you could say and it hasn't yet thankfully so I struggled with addiction for 34 so uh since I was 19 on and off and I want to help other people I want to help people that are that were going through what I was going through when I was younger and I think that's the best way to do it is to help them I take my hat off to him because he had a goal in mind and no matter what obstacles came his way and he's overcome a lot um, throughout his life. He's never given up on himself. Um, he takes pride in being able to do things on his own. He's going to school to do something that is near and dear to his heart. He really wants to give back and he wants to help people come out of the situation that he was in when he was going through the things he was going through. So. I am very proud of him and I commend him for his efforts and just being somebody, being a go-getter. Really proud of him. I'm just grateful that somebody gave me the opportunity to prove myself, to prove that I wasn't just uh, a drug user that says something and doesn't do it, that let me prove that I can do something and I will do it. I mean, it's the, it's the most rewarding part of this job, you know, that's what you do it for. Um, when I first meet, encounter people, and when they're gonna be in our program, I tell them, you know, you can do a lot in those two years, or you can do nothing. I mean, it's, it's totally up to them. And to see people just really take off, and, you know, all they need is an opportunity. All they need is a hand up, you know? And you never know what a person is capable of doing until you give them the tools to be able to do it. And, he has, I'm just very proud of him, very proud of him. And he's well deserving of this award, well deserving, he and his father. I'm just grateful that, uh, that they, they gave me and my father a shot, that they could have passed, passed us over and just went to somebody else. 
that they deemed, I guess, better fitting, because nobody want, really wants to help addicts, or, or do they think that they're going to do good? Um, so I'm just grateful that we were given the opportunity to prove ourselves, and grateful that this place exists, because without it, it would be really hard for a lot of people. From this time two years ago to where he's at now is thank God for agencies like this and community efforts because this was a community effort. And so when agencies work together, this is what happens. This is magical. I mean, it, it's, it's a blessing and I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. It's an honor, truly an honor. Not, we actually heard about the services through a family member who stayed down here most of his life. At the time, we were staying with family members in Gary, Indiana, so it wasn't the best living um, conditions and all of that. They had come from a pretty volatile situation, homeless, and we housed them. They were very, very dependent on their mom, and she was very protective of them because of what they'd been through. So. Yeah, and basically my cousin told my mom, like, that, you know, about Champaign County, all these different programs they have for all of us. It was like a better environment, et cetera. And we started working with uh, mom, mostly, and the kids, um, like once a week. Every other week we met with them, um, with budgeting and money management and um, just support and empowerment to get them back on their feet. You know, our mom, she was one of the few that pretty much inspired us to go back to school. And it's like, after the night we had got the phone call from um, the hospital, that she had passed away, that it's like, um, all of that just changed. I still get emotional when I talk about this. <laughs> um, it was difficult. Cause I'm sorry. We've been with my mom like our whole life. Like she was always there and she was like, she was my, or all of our biggest support. So it was just really hard. And it's like, it was like, like losing a part of me. And like, really, she was my best friend. So it, it's really hard, like even today to not have her to talk to about stuff I can't talk about, like with my other family members or my friends. So it is really tough. It's like I woke up and it's like I realized it's like I would have dreams and stuff with my mom and it's like when I wake up it's like I realize that she's gone like every every single day like that I wake up like wow. I'm I'm so grateful that we were there for them because um it was unexpected and and they needed support. And so um and what they've done afterwards, their mom would be so proud of them. I feel like I felt a lot more inspired after what happened to my mom to just like keep doing like bigger and better things and helping people. So I feel like that's definitely, you know, and I think I kind of was inspired by this place because it's like they do help people a lot. And then that's what I wanted to do because I don't, you know, I just think that everybody like needs somebody to help them out. So yeah. It was hard for them, but they kept going. And they, Antron graduated from the Odyssey Project. And both Jasmine and Antron kept working on their GEDs. And um, Nicole, their case, new case manager, um, I think she's just been there and supported them and encouraged them to the finish. Jasmine's gotten a job and saving money. And um, so they've done a huge amount since. They really helped a lot. Like we was, you know, really in need. But we at first came out here because it's like we didn't really have much. We basically came here with like clothes on our back. But there's so many resources that we can offer. And I think some of the bravest people I have met are the ones that reach out for help. And, and that's what we're here for. You know, we've never been in a place where there was so much help available. And like places like this, it's just like they help you with so many things. And it's just really amazing to me. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just really great.